everybody and welcome back into the atrium. It's good to see your faces around here. I hope everyone is doing fantastic. Hi Kian, how you doing? Today we're playing Witchwood, which is a game we've been attempting to play for a while. And life just kept lifing. So before we begin, let me go ahead and shout out everyone that's in here. Probably like the most frustrating Wait, did that? Ever Snakes. Snakes. Thick booty is stuck in the vent and he can't escape. <laughs> oh my god, did you just have to go to that door? Wait, what door? Oh my god, Jax. What? <laughs> go, okay, when you get, drop down out of here. Yeah, okay. hold on, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Get, yep. get down. <laughs> you literally avoided this door. What? <laughs> enter the door. No, not the door to the side, the door in the middle. Door in the middle? What door in the middle? Uh -huh. Okay, so you see on your map? Yep. So it's the door, it's to your left and down. There's, oh a, there's a big door. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my Doing god. everything in his power to break so the game. Of you. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, it's just... It's just... <laughs> <laughs> Literally... Uh, you know what? I'm getting I'm getting the chat credit. Hold on. Please. Hi, Kevin! Out of the bathtub. <laughs> Welcome in. I hope all your hatches are battened down. Hmm. Doesn't want to play this clip for some reason. There it goes. Oh, nope. I lied. It's okay. Take your time. Oh! Thank you! Oh, an individual has become a USI donor. Thank Ten. you. One of the few. Understand so much. I have traveled a significant. Four different stretches of I-10 that I have driven on. But thank you for being a continued USI donor. I have no idea. I'm gonna have to refresh Twitch Guru because this is... Bugging out. You know, it's not working on a lot of people's clip lag. Yeah. But I hope you're doing well, Kev. Hope you're being safe and all that goodness. Okay, I think that's everyone I see in here. Go ahead and get started. Once upon a time, there lived an odd little witch in an odd little house. I'm at home now. Nice. That's better than being in the middle of your job. <laughs> she spent most of her days tending to her odd little garden and resting in her odd little chair. On this day, however, her sleep is interrupted by an odd little noise. Ah! Uh -uh. Who's there? Get up. <laughs> oh my goodness, this game's so cute. You devil, how dare you wake a young lady from her beauty sleep? Yeah. Chew! Oh, no, no, chew! Get, get out of here, ducks. Hi, Apollo. Get out of my house, you mindless beast. You're making a mess. Let me see, I need to turn down. This game's a little loud. Uh, do 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 do. Which would? Here we go. With a swift kick in the rump, you boot the goat through the front door. But 
When did this place get so cluttered? Could have sworn I swept the hearth just yesterday. First things first, my old grimoire must be around here somewhere. New chapter. First things first. Heck yeah! I'm a little old witch with a cauldron on my head! <laughs> hey, how you doing, Apollo? We just started. Oh, this game looks so cute. It's like living in a storybook. Aha, here it is. Hmm. It's lighter than I recall. Your grimoire contains all of your craftable recipes. You can open it at any time by pressing the Y. All the recipes are gone. The goat ate it all. Hi, Lily. Logging visitor check-in into the universal database. Welcome in. Okay. Ah, uh, that's rude. It's called a hag's home. Mom has arrived. Hi, Mom. Uh, let's see. First things first. Find your braided belt in the chest. How long has it been stored away? Well, my recipes are missing. That damnable creature has chewed up all of the pages of my book. Where's my belt? I'll need it to carry my things if I'm going to confront the beast. I must have left it in the trunk over there. Okay. Heck yeah, we've got a few. Uh, a few things. Can't buy nut. Its thorny husk has stimulating properties for the ground and consumed or simply stepped on. Happy adorable Galhad. Yeah. Tough plant fibers roughly braided into a thin rope. Greedy twine. And seeker vine. Even in the uh, least likely of places, this tenacious ivy always finds its way. But we need the belt. We're gonna grab it all. Into the grimoire you go. Oof, my poor back. How long was I napping for? Good dose of medicine ought to soothe these aching bones before I head outside. At least I still have the recipe for my mending poultice. Girl, you've been sleeping a long time. I have a feeling. I just, I have a feeling that you've been sleeping longer than you thought. Okay, there's nothing else. I can grab, put into my grimoire. I love the way she walks. I need to collect my things first. Okay, craft a mending pulse this with your grimoire. I have a feeling that I need healing. <laughs> okay, craft. Mending pulse. Aw, she had a little circle around here. Use the pulse just to heal. Right trigger. Step two. Go outside. You step outside into a humid marsh and immediately stub your toe at a twisted root. Rude. Close your eyes for a wink, and the next thing you know, the whole yard's gone to weeds. Somewhere in the distance, you can hear a uh, braying through the dense room. Where'd that cross-eyed Billy get to? Could at least put those gnashers to good use on this lawn. Open your map to get a better look at your surroundings. I love her little bird hands! Yes! Find the goat in your yard. Can I collect any of these shroomies? Looks like she's tanning something. That's nice. There's a goat shrine. Interesting. Someone was doing their laundry here. Ooh, collect. Some shears will cut these cleanly. Okay, I need shears for that. Goat shrine! I need shears for that. Uh, why did it get spoopy? Oh, heck yeah, that's a neat feature. So she automatically collects resources that are close by to her. So I don't have to keep pressing it. Can I open the chest? No. 
it's an antelope person shrine. Or it's another goat. It's a goat temple. Oh, there's that goat. Let me get this. Uh. Is that all you've got to say for yourself? Uh. Ugh. The goat coughs up a disgusting hairball. Ah, oh, yes. Hello? Hello. Can you hear me now? Apologies, it's been so long since I've used a mortal vessel. Yuck. I'm starting this mouth. Wah! Ah! Logging visitor check in into the universe. You database. can talk? <laughs> Hi, Mondi! Of course I can talk. Has your mind become so filled with cobwebs that you've forgotten your old friend? You wound me, madam. It's good to see you up and about. I was beginning to wonder if you'd ever awaken. Though I suppose time flows strangely in this place. Anyway. I've come to collect. Do you have the amount we agreed upon? Uh, amount? Amount of what? Oh dear. If you really don't remember, we should go over the contract details again. Now there. The goat nods its head towards the ancient stone gateway looming nearby. Just how am I supposed to get through that solid rock? You're the one who sealed it last. Take a closer look. I'm sure it will come back to you. Open your witch's eye to inspect objects and creatures to discover their weaknesses. So I got a witch's eye. Oh, heck yeah! Consumables! Gimme. Stone pillar, an unusually large standing stone wrapped with enhanced engravings. I'll help you out, trust me, says the goat. Don't underestimate your senses, my dear. You may be old, but you can see things others cannot. Hidden weaknesses lying below the surface. Ah, I can see now. There are shallow runes etched onto the surface of the stone, but they are too faint for me to read. The powder of unveiling ought to do the trick. If you hadn't made a stack of my book, I wouldn't have to retranscribe my recipes. Does that at least taste good? I know, it does look like the Arthur meme. The fist meme. <laughs> the holographic fruit. I don't believe it has taste. It does not have taste. So you're basically a tasteless salad. I shall not be held liable for any losses or inconveniences. Yeah! No calories, no fat, no sugar, no nutritional value of any kind. It's the imaginary fruit that's all way. Please be aware that holographic fruit is not a nutritional substitute. Let's see what Sonny's got to say. I think Opie's asked about this before. Lily asked me, what does kabeet fruit taste like? Ah, the enigmatic kabeet fruit. Its taste is subjective due to its holographic nature. Some say it has the tang of a virtual citrus. Others claim it carries the essence of forgotten digital data. And of course, it may occasionally stare into your soul, which is an experience in itself. But fear not, as it poses no harm to dear Olo. You hear that? I'm safe, but the rest of you are screwed. <laughs> the witch and I are both shaking off cobwebs from our mind. That's fine. <laughs> I shall not be held liable for any losses or inconveniences incurred as the result of abysmal or abyssal position. By inspecting objects and creatures, you can learn new recipes and craft in your grimoire. Cool. Uh, weakness is unveiling powder. 
Go to the Grimoire. Go to Unveiling Powder. We have all the stuff. Tinkle Goat! <laughs> Tinkle Goat! This lore is deeper than I thought. What did you think it was gonna be? It's all story. There we go, we got Unveiling Powder. Reveal! You smear a handful of the glowing powder onto the runes of the doorway. The cool blue light emanates from the glyphs and envelops the entrance in its aura. I mean, the staring into the soul part, yeah. Oh, yeah! <laughs> We're now at 50%. What? I'm gonna have to plan something special for that stream. Because I'm not going to be able to get any work done, that's for sure. You squint, attempting to discern the meaning of the letters, as they appear to be in some obscure runic alphabet. What gibberish is this? It looks like it was carved by a frightened hen. Hmm. Must be written in the umbral tongue. Allow me to translate. Two pints hates goats? Why? What would- The blood of beer. It has any animosity towards ghosts. Oh no. I think the handle voice is on. I don't know which one I got though. <laughs> you guys all have to let me know what my communicator sounds like because I have to hear all know myself. I have a lot of stuff in me and I need to win. My communicator is just gonna sound a little different for a few minutes. You guys will have to let me know if you can hear me just fine. The gun steps up to the doorway and pauses. Mm. I don't see the fact. I don't know what's my particular device, but there's a bit of crackle when you talk. It could be the voice. Some of these voices have sound effects. It's like David Graham and Android that have said there's static when you talk. It is the voice and I let me try our settings and see where we're at. It's static when you talk. We're on the no. I don't know which one I'm on. Hmm. Ah. Okay, I see. Noise reduction is on, so it must be a feature of the voice. Not quite sure why. I'll go ahead and troubleshoot it. Is this all I'm trying to image a sunny bill? I could never. Is this the abyssal tone? <laughs> Is that some prophesy in abyssal tone? Or I'm trembly static? I was also Not supposed to have a timer. Welcome in. Um. Well, what does it say? The goat swings its shaggy head towards you. Dark, matted wool obscures the creature's beady eyes. I... I cannot see. Unbelievable. What help are you then? I didn't come here to help. I came to collect. Now do something about this mop of hair, would you? Fine, fine. I think I have some rusty old shears down in the garden. Time to go find some shears and shear me a goat. Ah, in the chest that I couldn't open before. Shears. Simple steel snips to cut through a surprising variety of things. And some more weedy twine. And I'm going to cut this grass first. Yeah. Snips. Oh, it's not gonna Oh, I have to collect it afterwards. Okay. It's a sheer delight. Yep, yep, yep. See if there's anything else. Yeah. Oh, 
I could use the shears to cut the vines off of this rune. These old stones are are tightly wrapped in innumerable vines. Okay. It's not letting me shear them like it is the grass. So maybe we'll need to come back. Thank you for the protect. Vine gated vines, yes. Okay, I got the shears. I'm gonna shear you. It's much protesting and a nick ear. Ooh, you shear away clips of dirty old hair from the goat's eyes. Ah, much better. Oh my! Were you always this grotesque or is my memory failing me as well? Rude! You can't, you can't do decks while I'm protected. I'm protected. That's the point. <laughs> Watch your tongue or I'll have- oh, give it a good snip too. You were confirming? Ah, oh, thanks. Now, can you read the runes or not? Hmm, yes. Uh -huh. The space beneath, she sleeps alone. Tokens given upon- up to the unknown. Fires of four shall unroot the stone. Braziers burn and wait the clone. Await the crone. Crone? Who is it calling a crone? What are these tokens I'm to burn? Perhaps you ought to take a closer look at those braziers. And that's where I was before. So now will you let me shear it? They'll know. I think I meant the the ones over here. That would make more sense. Dog hair. The brazier by the stone. I I can't say that. My brain doesn't want to say that. Uh, blue feather, dog hair, frog slime, and shiny stone. Each of these has a different description. Little remains of this brazier, but an undeniably acrid smell. Gray shears, gotcha. <laughs> the remnant of its last burn are barely discernible for the time set. Some past contents have left a hard residue within. The inside catches the light just enough to suggest some past iridescence. Dog hair, bird feather, frog slime, and a shiny stone? I don't suppose you swallowed up any of those things while I was asleep. I don't think so. But feel free to sift through this creature's leavings if you want to be completely sure. However, there's a whole world outside this little swamp. You know? See that gateway there? The one with the lovely green flame? The goat motions to the far side of your yard. I guess a brisk walk in the woods would do these creaky joints some good. How much time indoors is bad for the humors. Oh wow, she's that old. She's so old that she believes in the humors. Never mind. I mean, she, she was asleep for a long time. For those of you who don't know, an old timey medieval medicine, they believed in these things called humors, which were like these sections of the body that you had to maintain to keep your your health up. And they had all kinds of weird beliefs on how to keep the humors in check. Stretch and save your progress. Time for self-care. Let me do that real quick. Have my water, everybody. Drink your water with me and let's stretch. And we're good and stretched. Looks like everything respawned. So I'm gonna 
go through and collect everything again. I'm a bit of a resource hoarder, if you can't tell. I was about to add me and do that, but yeah. Thank you. Three chance! Wasn't there another one? Just like over here. Yeah, yeah. So that's why I wouldn't let me out. That's literally the, the gateway to the rest of the game. <laughs> He wanted me to get through the tutorial first. Snip snip! Hasn't respawned yet, got you. Snipping and tearing your shears make short work of the bramble. Into the darkness! Heck yeah! Cut your way through the remaining vines and suddenly step onto a cold stone dais. Time seems to flow backwards. Or maybe it speeds forwards? Time is a spaghetti! An oppressive star filled void stretches as far as you can see. Though there is no wind or sound in this void, a warm, cold breeze and the chirping of birds seizes your attention. A doorway. Okay. Mystic Portal World! Let's go! I'm gonna grab this flower from the Mystic Portal World. Thank you very much. Liminal Space Flowers is a hobby of mine. To the forest! Okay, let's start collecting. Oh, yucks! <laughs> We're tramping through the bush. <laughs> on and on we push. Into the thick bit. I don't remember the melody for this. But we can't see where we're going. We've made a stellar start. It's been forever since I heard that song. I don't know why, but... The scientific Solarian song from Mass Effect just popped into my head. Okay, let's take a look around. Make sure I didn't miss anything. Into the Decay! That's interesting. So the first one was Into the Dark. This one's Into the Decay. It's a if the wood itself has parted. Wood itself has parted. So allow one through. I love the tromp tromp over walk. I know. Her little chicken eggs. I love him so much. There's a, a squirrel down there, it looks like. Hello, squirrel. Snap trap. Oh, I'm gonna have to capture squirrels. Possesses an energy far outpacing its tranquil home. Wig. Okay, there's like a nest over here. Check that out. A hatchet might break this apart. Oh, it's a it's a log. Okay, I see. Um, who are you? Bird watcher. The woman spins around on her heels so quickly she nearly hits you with her spyglass. Ah, you startled me. Can't you see I'm um, busy with my scientific Research? Research? What is it you're looking for with this contraption? She's so old she don't know what a spyglass is. Why, the famed indigo tufted forest lark. They're said to be native to the forest and this forest only. Have you seen one perchance? He glides upwards at the small blue bird perched atop the oblivious woman's hat. I have it. Sorry. A shame. Well, it's never too late to open one's eyes to the wonders of the natural world. You never know what you'll discover. She points at a nearby woodland critter, stuffing its cheeks with seeds. Take that squirrel, for example. Spend a few moments watching its behavior, and you'll learn everything you need to know about it. 
observation is key. Me over here coming up with voices for the characters. <laughs> You'd be much better at it than me. Now, if you don't mind, I wouldn't want to miss making an exciting new discovery. The blue bird glances vacantly at you before pooping on the brim of the woman's head. Wow, that was a power move. Okay, let's see if there's anything else. There's squirrel. There's bird watcher. There's bird. Get a songbird. Enjoys eating. Far away look in her eye as she looks upon the far away. So I'll need a hatchet before I can get there. I'm gonna go down here first. Oh, it's a dude with a frog! What a coincidence, I need a frog. Ragamuffin, his enthusiasm for catching frogs is not tempered by his limited ability to hold them. Firefly, tiny insect that emanates. So we're gonna need a net too. Oh lady, what's with the great stinking pot on your head? I would ask the same about all those stinking frogs in your trousers. Ah, you're just jealous. The boy fumbles between trying to wrangle all his frogs and swiping ineffectively at wayward fireflies and with a shoddy looking bucket. Juggling a little more than you can handle, eh? What exactly are you hoping to accomplish, flailing about like that? Are you daft? Me frogs are hungry. Oh, he's. <laughs> uh, I gotta catch some of these fireflies to feed him. He takes another swing, missing his target entirely. Why don't you let me take a few of those frogs off your hands for a moment? That would let you swing that net properly. Oh, I see how it is. <laughs> are you daft, ma'am? <laughs> yeah. You're after me, precious prizes. But how about I give you the net and you catch me some fireflies? Then maybe I'll think about trading you one of my froggies. Okay, take the net. There's a, a fae. Too quick for her hands alone. Oh wait, am I gonna have to catch the fairy? Ah, I caught a fairy! <laughs> I'm sorry, Lily! <laughs> I'm catching your relatives. What's going on? Where'd they go? I can't even find them in the inventory. Well, these hoppers aren't going to stick around with empty bellies. The faster you catch those fireflies, the faster we can eat. Right her to the health potion. <laughs> Uh, I mean the frog skinny! Here are your fireflies, kid. The boy shakes the jar, rattling the captured insects like pennies in a piggy bank. Oh, these are nice and juicy. The lads are gonna feast tonight. Now, about our deal, you agreed to trade me one of your pets here? What deal? I don't remember making no dip. A frog squirms out of the boy's overalls and plops down by his feet with a wet slap. Dang it. There goes Slippery Pete. He takes a clumsy swipe at the amphibian, but the creature squeezes out of his grasp and bounces into the underbrush. Ah, shucks. I never liked him anyways. If you can catch him, he's all yours. Slippery. I'll need a net. Got me a frog. Okay. So now I need a blue feather, so I'll probably need to catch a bird, dog hair, and a shiny stone. Man, I interrupted that fairy in the middle of her face circle dance. That was very rude to me. Oh, that's. <laughs> Get back here, I'll chop you! What? That's a shroomling, madame. You can't just go around killing sentient beings. Oh, 
It sounds like a baby. Okay, I'm gonna probably need to get the axe then. If she's saying I'll chop you down. Changeling. Most mushrooms don't do this much wiggling. So I can interact with it or I could do a, a hatchet. So can I interact? Uh, it won't let me interact with it. Okay. So I need to get a hatchet. thing that she auto collects because I would have not known that was there. Ah, oh, I missed one back there. Uh, there's a log back there I'll need a hatchet for. There's some herb up here. Go over here now. Hello, who are you? Gaston looking ass. <laughs> Evening, ma'am. Come to check on the pottery. I'm afraid I just fired the kiln up. So you'll be there or so there'll be a while still. Pottery? Ah, I was just admiring that fine canine over there. I didn't even see the dog. You point this scraggly looking uh, to the scraggly looking mutt patrolling the yard. May I give her a penny? Oh, you can try. But I wouldn't. If I were you. Or if you value your fingers. <laughs> Pet the dog. She's a touch bitey today and doesn't much like people going near the ovens. I have a way with animals. Surely I could find something to calm her down. Okay. Guard dog. Foul tempered, snaps at anything that comes too close. Weakness. Uh soporific morsel or shears. Well I have to find something to feed the pooch. Because I'm not gonna shear the dog. I'm afraid she I don't trust this game. I'm like, is that gonna stab the dog? I don't wanna stab the dog. <laughs> I'll have to catch a squirrel, probably, to feed to the dog. Oh, you don't look too good. Oh, man, oh, jeez, I don't know about this. You tap the man's shoulder and he nearly tumbles headfirst into the well. Ah! What's the matter with you? I could have fallen in. Morty? <laughs> Then perhaps you shouldn't be leaning over the edge like some wobbly stork. What's so interesting down this well anyways? Well, my grandpappy used to tell me that people drop all sorts of treasure down there just waiting for someone to dig it up. Got myself a trowel and thought I'd have a go. But the rope's out and it looks awfully dark and damp. You get goosebumps just thinking about all the... Go the ghoulies that might be lurking down there in the shadows. Ever consider that those ghoulies might get goosebumps thinking about you lurking up here in the sunlight? Take them down! <laughs> Push them in! Uh, no, not really. Not sure if that makes me feel any better about them, actually. Maybe the business of treasure hunting isn't for me after all. Here, why don't you take my trowel? I don't think I'll be needing it. You could go down into the well and see the ghoulies yourself. He offers you a small trowel. It looks like it's never been used. Take it. This old well is deep and dark. You might be able to climb down into it. But the rope has long since run it away. Trowel get! A cool breeze falls up from the darkness. Really twine. You toss a length of strong homemade rope down into the darkness. It seems like it should support you without much fun. Cool. Let me continue to check up here before we go down into a new area. Oh, hey, can you give me your axe? 
Ah, oh, you there. Give me your hand, would you? With what? You seem to have everything under control. These stumps aren't going anywhere. My darn useless son was supposed to help me, but he's wandered off again. Probably to go bother frogs and eat bugs or some such nonsense. Anyway, I need help clearing away some of these dead logs. It's late in the season and the wood has started to rot. Just put it on the stump so I may chop it. Yes, that's what I was thinking. It's like, give me your hand so I could chop it off, but he was just asking for help. <laughs> just be careful of the purple mushrooms that sometimes grow inside. They'll make you powerful sleepy if you breathe in the spores. Much as I do love poisonous fungi, I'm not much of a lumberjack. Nonsense, anyone can experience the joys of splitting a fine stuff. Here, my boy won't be missing his hatchet. The woodsmith spins a sharp looking hatchet in his hands and thrusts the handle at you. Take it. What can I do here? I could dig it out with some coals with the right tool. Oh, I have a trowel. Dig. What are you? What are you? Are you a soot? Oh, I got a soot sprite! Heck yeah, house moving castle! A hatchet might break this apart. Well, luckily I have a hatchet. Oh, she's strong. She did that at one job. I would not want to mess with this lady. See if there's anything else over here. There's some stuff over here. It's more fairies. What did I just use? Time to go home. No, I didn't want to. Stay here. Earth seed. That's what it is. The plant that lets me go home. Sorry, guys. You're going to be made into a fine potion. If that makes you feel any better. <laughs> Got some flower petals. Here in the place where they worship the deer. I'm sure that's gonna have no horrible implications for me later on. The stag, a stylized image to flatter the self proclaimed ruler of this region. Commissioned by him, of course, and promptly forgotten. Sounds about right. So, am I gonna have to fight the deer? This is like a trap I can place here. I'm sure of it. Something's going to come out of the stump sometime. Okay, we got some wreaths here. We'll share the wreaths. Go into the well. Okay. Doesn't look like there's any ghoulies down here. Definitely take some golden coins. Why not? Uh, if I had a trowel. Okay, got a frog. Go. What's this? I could collect some water if I had a jar. Okay, I need to find a jar. Trowel. Pebbles. Hello, frog. I don't know if they disappear after some time. Let me go grab this dude. There we go. I'm gonna go back here because my trowels. 
Oh. Was it there? Got a rock up here. I don't have a, a jar. It's locked. Okay. Maybe we'll be finding a... I see those eyes. So maybe there are ghoulies down here. Darkened nook. A cozy burrow for a creature who prefers to be left alone. And we're gonna be leaving him alone. For now. Okay. Maybe that's all we could do down here. For now. Because I don't have a jar. I don't have a key. I don't think I could hatch it my way in. I can't. There's a critter there I don't really want to mess with yet. Something stirs inside but does not emerge. I'll probably need to lure it out. Some kind of trap. The little splishing sounds. Back to the surface. Uh, guys, still freaking out. Okay, here's a fancy gate. It's keeping me out. Let me guess, this is where the Lord of the Land lays. Anarchy? Maybe. Only if he's unworthy of the seat. If he does not serve his people, then he'll have to go. Alright, let's look in the grimoire. Okay, we can make a trap, but I need another craftable, which is this one. Wicker work. Let's make a wicker work. Time to don the green hat of freedom. Okay, now we can create a snap trap. Okay, and then let me let's catch a bird. Let's go to the bird watcher. Grab that. We're going to set trap. Let's see what it takes. You don't want to see what's- Oh my gosh, I murdered that bird! <laughs> that was not what I was expecting to happen. I thought I was going to like catch it alive, but it- It, um... It, uh... I- I committed murder on this day. I- I committed Amy's side. <laughs> Avery's side. That was- that was, uh... Ouch! Well, now I know that I have to go murder the thing in the well to feed the dog. I've got my feather, uh, ill-begotten feather. Now I gotta go get some ill-begotten morsel, disgusting morsel <laughs> bits. All right, let's grab this, grab this, and let's just murder us an innocent critter, I guess. So I can unlock a stone for a goat demon. This is all perfectly legit and ethical. Doesn't look like they want to go for that crap. <laughs> Here, little critter. Can I just pick this up? That didn't work. Unless I gotta set it right here. Yeah, that's not it. Okay. So I'm gonna pick the trap up. Can I pick the trap up? Oh no, it's too close to the object. 
too close to the object, so just use me interacting with the object. So that trap's just there now. <laughs> they can have that trap as a treat. Okay, I'm gonna have to lure it out some other way. But you know what? I might be able to look up its weaknesses. I forgot about that. Our mark. Please prepare for invasive capitalism. No, not invasive capitalism. Okay, right, let's see what this dude. It doesn't say. Can I get my trap? The answer is no. Okay, let me get back up. Maybe the morsel is something I can craft. A warm gobbet of animal flesh soaked with sleeping magic. Useful against dogs. Oh, so I need to make the uh, soporific potion from stuff I've collected. This uh, drought will send whoever drinks it into a deep sleep. However, it tastes horrible, so mix it with something delicious. We got the mushrooms. I need a jar of water. I need to go to the village square, the fields, or the forest well. I need to get a jar first. So there looks like there may be a village somewhere that I can get a pot from. I think there's a map. Maybe up here. That's the, the woodsman, I think. Been there to the Fey Circle. Maybe we have to go up this way. The gate, you think? Let me go check. It wasn't interactable. Bars a witch, <laughs> witch's way until it's designed to open. Until it deigns to open. Oh, a hatchet might tear it apart. Chop chop? Oh no, it's talking about that wood back there. It's not the, the gate itself. Okay, we'll have to open it some other way. Just grab some of this. Snatchy fingers. I love her little grabbing animation. It's, it's just got this... You know, the sound effect of yoink. This looks like a yoink, if I've ever seen one. Okay, let me see. There was a map that said there was like a house or something towards the right. Or maybe around... There wasn't a jar around here. I'm not gonna get the fairy. I think I've got enough fairies. I need a pot. You like? Boy, there. Let's see. We couldn't go any further north. It's all closed off. I mean, it's saying we could. Let's just follow this. It is time for invasive capitalism. Ow. We'll be back after these forced messages. Consume. This is your self care Consume. reminder. Consume. Please hydrate, Consume. stretch, and save Consume. your progress. Consume. Okay. So we're gonna have to do our ad break so people don't get pre-rolled. So now's a good time to get up and stretch. Get some water, get a snack, and do whatever it means to do for self-care for you. We'll be back 
Everyone had a lovely break. So, what's on the map isn't really what's in real life. Because all behind this, like, I can't just walk through this. There's stuff on the map that way. So, I guess I just kind of have to play it by ear. I need to find a jar. I see. I need a pot. See if I can sneak past it. Okay, dog can be sneak past. Try to get that good spirit. Um, no, I'm not gonna steal. Thank you. No, 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 no. The spirit mocking me. I'll take one of these. Da -da 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 -da. I think she's slow. Hey, get back in your pen. <laughs> Who's gonna get me? I'm gonna get that sip spirit. Go. All right. So now I've got my jars. I can fill them with water. I'm gonna go check on my trap. Yeah, this art style is freaking gorgeous. I love this game so far. It's like I'm in a fairy tale. Okay, so I got my pots. Fill them with water. Got two jars of water. Can I have my trap back yet? No? Okay. Someday. Let me just pick up these shiny stones. Okay, now once I get the dog hair... I'll be able to go back and unlock the stone. Let's go put this dog to sleep. Okay. Uh, so first I need to make the spore potion. And then I need to make the, the meat that's going to make the dog eat. And then I got to row the food. See if she gets it. There she goes. Okay, now with my shears, I'm going to take a little bit of her hair. Frog slime, blue feather, shiny stone, and dog hair. That's all I need for those uh, first years. Brazers. I should head back home now. Brazers. Why can't I say that word? And I the brazers. On our way. We're just gonna go into the rod. I'm not gonna use that stone. Boop, 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 boop. Back home. And we get to go over. Hey, yo, I got the goods. What are you giving these to me for? Put them on the altar. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. The brazier awaits an offering. Have you something to burn? Dog hair. The dog hairs take a moment to fall from your fingers, fluttering down into the basin one by one. The fur bristles into foul-smelling coils before erupting into a cold green flame. 
The Brazier awaits an offering. The Brazier. Brazier! Maybe something to burn. Blue feather. A strong force pulls the feather down into the large basin like a magnet. Burst into a bright flash of light as cold flames engulf its essence. You gently squeeze the globs of wet slime from your satchel into the basin. The mucus bubbles and pops before cold flames reduce it to a fine, odorless ash. Shiny stone. You drop the stone into the basin with a resounding chiming sound. Fractures trace across the pebble before it cracks open and a cold green light swallows it within its flame. The armored flames of the bra brazers play strange shadows across the stone doorway. You watch as fingers of shadows crawl up the rock face and crack open the solid granite like a steel bridge. The stone crumbles away into darkness, revealing a yawning stairway descending down into the cold earth. Don't mind me being fuddled. Be fuddled. Be very fuddled. After you, ma'am. Madame. Help if I could read. I'm gonna yoink this mushroom real quick. Okay. Into the shrine we go. Into the shrine? Thank you. An interesting sequence of events just occurred. You'll have to tell me the details. Whenever you want. Okay, yeah, looking really shiny. Uh, that is... That is a corpse. Uh... That... Is a corpse. <laughs> Kiss the corpse? No! We're not weirdos here. Did I ever tell you about my ex? A little bit. Just a tiny, tiny bit. Just that it was bad news. Encased inside a gilded crystal coffin lies the body of a young woman. Though she sleeps in an enchanted slumber, her ageless features express a deep sadness. Is this Snow White? I'm not gonna kiss the corpse! I'm not a gross weirdo! <laughs> The sound of cloven hooves echo against the marble floor as the goat comes to your side. Quite something, isn't she? Do you remember bringing her to me? I brought her to you? Why? Who is she? I haven't the faintest idea. All I know is you brought her lifeless form to my doorstep and begged me to save her soul. Save her from what? And why is she asleep? Why, from the twelve wicked souls whom you said wronged her in life. Villains who deceived her and cheated her and broke her spirit. And as we agreed, here she will sleep until our contract is fulfilled. Until you bring me those twelve wicked souls. What? I, I remember no such contract. Our pact is binding, regardless of what you do or do not remember. At the goat's words, you feel something hard and dark locked away in the depths of your heart. It speaks the truth. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to commit murder. <laughs> and just why should I do your bidding? It seems like a lot of bothersome trouble to me. What do I care about some sleeping beauty? Hack, bum bum Dun Dunstana. Okay, let me see. I need to go ahead and put on a trigger warning on this game then. Bloop! There we go. Because of the animal murder and the potential murders we're gonna commit. <laughs> murder and corpse kissing. Still not kissing that corpse. For all we know, that that corpse could be our daughter, thank you very much. <laughs> or that corpse could be me. I am you know, a, a suit of armor, I think. Forehead kiss. 
That would be acceptable. And just why should I do your bidding? Seems like a lot of bothersome trouble to me. What do I care about some sleeping beauty? Bring me the twelve souls and I will release the sleeping maiden from her slumber. Our agreement will be fulfilled. Who knows? In time, you may even remember why you brought her to me in the first place. Or, you can simply return to the comfort of your hovel, where you will waste away until the weeds grow so thick that not even your shears will be able to cut you free, and your mind will stay as empty as that grimoire of yours. But it is a big decision to make so hastily. Why don't you sleep? A heavy weight fills your marrow. Your eyelids flutter, barely able to stay open. What have you done to me? I... I can't stay awake. I'm not saying make out with the corpse. Dinner and flowers come before that. D yeah, date the corpse. It's only right. Evil goat! I'm pretty sure we're gonna have to fight the goat at some point. Okay, we're awake now. Back outside. Good morning. I trust you've made up your mind. Will you collect the souls I've asked for, or would you prefer to stay stuck in this festering swamp? Alright, alright! No need to get your horns in a twist. I'll do as you ask. You haven't given me much choice. Splendid! As it happens, I can already sense first, uh, the first four souls we see. Two were in the forest, another in the swamp to the north, and the last in the field in the south. Could you maybe be more specific? Here, a shapely stump? Perhaps inside a tree with a face? By an overgrown mushroom grove? What do I look like, a compass? Go out there and look for yourself. Alright, to the forest we go. So you said that one's here in the swamp. So let's look for that one first. Goat compass! What are you doing? You're not collecting... Uh, you're not done collecting my souls. Okay, literally made a deal with the devil for this lady. She must be pretty important to us. Night waddle. I guess we have to go. There's not really anywhere here we can a raid. Hi, Millie. Literally, I pulled it out of the box, looked at it, and I was like, "What the fuck do you want me to do with this?" Oh my god. Uh, funnily enough, part of the reason I look forward to streaming is hearing the Kevin stories. Hi, how you doing? Okay, so you know what we're just gonna do? We're gonna do you. The goat one speeds can. Now while the guests are here. Hello, welcome in. Let me see what your uh, capsule is going to be. It should spawn here any moment now. But how is your stream? I know you were probably doing Call of Duty, right? I think that's what I saw. Did you have some Regions, good matches? Raiders, and welcome to the atrium. Hello. Thanks, Sunny. New space friend in the atrium. Hi, welcome in. Can I call you Adam? What do you prefer to be called? Thank you for becoming a space friend. Oh, food. It was food themed. Whoop, whoop. Celebration Come on! Good? Honestly? Wow, that's great. I'm so happy for you. So you get a food... I'm Atomic. Got you. Ah, I see. I use he, him pronouns. Thank you. That'll help me a lot. So welcome in! How you guys doing? So you get the food uh, raid art. If you like, you can message me on Discord. Or post it over in our Raid Redeem channel. 
that's the wrong one ignore that that is that is incorrect this is what i was looking for please consider joining olo's research team i sent million olo snap oh thank you but welcome in raiders for those of you who are new here i'm olo the colobian disguised as a spooky ghost for halloween I'm a United Space Initiative researcher here on Earth to study its culture through art, music, and games. And today we are playing Witchwood. But welcome in. If you need to go take care of yourselves, please do so. Please get some water, do stretches, get some sustenance, all the goodness. We don't have a D stream yet. I'm waiting on you to give me the the voice lines. <laughs> you said you had something in mind. Oh, come in. Okay, let's go to the forest because I know he said there were some souls there. Bloop, 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 bloop. Portal garden. Thing two, thank you so much for being so welcoming. As always, you're always welcome here in Raid Art. What can I request? So it's art of you or a friend, a uh, character, and it could be anything food themed. You could be in a food costume. I can make you a clothing design loosely based on foods. Um, and all that goodness. And it's the one full body art of the character. Oh my gosh, that tree is alive. That tree wants to murder me. I want to murder that tree. I need to distract it first. What kind of nonsense is that? <laughs> Out! It took a heart. Oh, it makes quick work a radar. Yeah, I'll usually have it done within a day. Six hours. Usually if I, uh, if it's the start of the day, but if, since it's the end of today here. Oh, now it's opened up. That makes sense. The world changes. Screw you, Mr. Peach Trunks. Okay. Into the swamp. So I can walk to the swamp from here. Okay, there's a goblin now. I'm gonna need a weapon. I don't have much art of Melly, so let me send a pic of her and maybe in a strawberry outfit. I can do that. Uh, what is your choice? Do you prefer masculine, feminine, or non-binary uh, outfits? I accommodate. You're not a friendly dog either, I see. Fairy shrine, curious. I'm gonna have to put that dog to sleep. I'm on your Instagram. You're so pretty. I haven't posted there in forever. <laughs> feminine, feminine, please. Gotcha. Bloop, 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 bloop. Okay, let's see. I think I can craft everything here. Craft this. I don't have a jar of water, I don't think. Okay, got the sporific morsel. Or the soporific morsel, and then I throw it. Here, doggy doggy. Thank you. Okay, let's inspect this. Interact, larger Oh, that's a changeling. Unknown, an indestructible construction of the faithful. Is it uh, its purpose? Mystery. It's interesting. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, trigger warning. There is some theater murder in this game. <laughs> oh, yes, I also made all these ducks. <laughs> no, yes, that's exactly what's happening. Hi, zombie. How are you doing? It's been a minute. I hope you've been doing well. Ugh. I just been, you know, dodging ducks, the usual. To beep duck. Yes, it is real. It exists. It can harm you. Why? Hello. Why? Why for to cry? <laughs> Shit. This is so embarrassing. Okay. Fuck. 
Tinted glass. Thank you for your shout out. <sighs> I'm so embarrassed. Okay. Ara ara uu. <laughs> that hurt her soul. Clip lag. Yeah, it's been happening all day. I don't know what's going on with Twitch crew. You approach a young woman, weeping sorrowfully into her palms. She catches her breath for a moment and looks out longingly over the placid lake. Oh, my sweet songbird. Why have you forsaken me to a life devoid of your love? Tears well up in her eyes as she buries her face once again. Ma'am, I need your soul. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is not the wicked soul. I hope so. You consider leaving this melodrama well enough alone. But something about the poor girl reminds you of the maiden slumbering under your house. Yeah, just casually drop that. This is a corpse under our house. <laughs> you draw out a tattered handkerchief and offer it to the maiden. There, there. Dry your eyes, my child, and tell old granny what the matter is. Oh, to thank you. You're very kind. She takes the cloth and daintily dabs the corners of her eyes. Bawling the last of her sobs, she composes herself before sighing wistfully. It's my beloved. Such a sweet and romantic man. The with, <laughs> man the with a voice of a metal lark. Wow. Dry your eyes. Place your soul into the cloth. He... I get it. He dumped you. Well, don't worry. There's plenty of other frogs in the swamp. Well, what? No, he loves me and I him. Though our families would never allow us to be together. He'd come and sing outside my balcony every night. One night we both vowed to escape and meet by the lake. Her lip quivers. I waited and waited under the waning moon, even past the morning sun, but he still didn't reveal himself. Tough break. Maybe he just wasn't that into you. The woman snaps at you with a sudden vitriol. Vitriol. He would never abandon me. We're destined to be together. She slips back into a melancholic gaze out over the lake. Even now, I can still hear the beautiful melody of his lute coming from across the water. <laughs> Keep your snappers to yourself. Over the dull sounds of the lapping waves and quacking waterfowl, faint notes- oh god, there's ducks- faint notes of some faraway stringed instrument whisper through the reeds. Oh dear, I hear it too. Maybe you aren't just mad in love. It's coming from somewhere in the middle of the lake. He's out there somewhere, I just know it. It crumples into another dramatic bout of inconsolable tears. Now, now, I'm sure that it's just some- Echoes bouncing off the shore. I'll go find this tardy bard of yours has run off to. Press the uh, this ticket to the drone. Ma'am, do you need a fainting couch? <laughs> yeah, I know. Okay, uh the snake. Reveal the source of the sounds of the forest lake. Something sneaky is hiding and laughing in the woods. And the sleeping maiden. Oh, the bear in the forest, the ox in the fields, the leech in the swamp, the snake in the forest. Okay. So those are the four souls we have to start with. Been posted. Thank you again. Thank you. Lurking D stream. Take care of yourself. Thank you so much for bringing your people here today. The music seems strongest on the shore. But even here, you can't quite place the source. It seems to be emanating from the half-sunken ruin poking out of the lake's waters. Maybe that full bard's hiding way out there? Ah, but I swim as well as hens fly. Suddenly, some unseen voice chitters mockingly into your ear. Oh, ho hee hee! The musical man you'll never see! You spin around, but no one is there. Just a nattering laughter bouncing on the wind. Who's there? Show yourself, spirit! I see you. 
I can hardly see it. I need a bailing powder. Elusive Pixie. Legend tells of a strange whispers from nowhere in hereabouts. Perhaps this is their story. Okay, so we need the unveiling powder. Is that crafted? Unveil. And then net. Yep, they're, they're going uh, very, <laughs> very dark with this one. You snap your hand around the elusive creature and squeeze. Ack, let me go, you knobbly pot! You're crushing the life out of me! You trifling little pest. What do you know about this music? M music? What music? All I hear is the slapping waves and the peeping birdies. Your old ears must be full of bugs. This is your self-care reminder. Oh, self-care. Please hydrate, stretch, and save your progress. Please take care of yourselves with me. Drink some water. Do a stretch. Ugh. Check the way you're sitting, all that goodness. Don't play smart with me, I'll pop off your head like a daisy. Don't threaten her, she'll do it. Ooh, you, 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 you mean that music? It sounds of the snakes traveling circus. I thought everyone knew that. I am administering, <laughs> administering belly rubs, but... Circus stays still, but the door is the thing that travels, you see. And right now the door is out of the lake, but you'll never get in. Yeah! You give the right to Sprite a good shake, and a showering of glitter dust sheds off. Tell me how to cross the lake, or I'll make a necklace from your teeth. Ah! Only faith folk can show the way. Dirty fairies built a bridge. Keep all your big folk out. Unless the snake invites them in. You're a fairy, aren't you? Where's this bridge? Ha! Ah! We're a pixie. Not one of those flamby pamby mushroom herders. Besides, the bridge is invisible to big stompers like you. The creature peers over your shoulder and waves its tiny arms. Oh, look! There's a fairy now. Why don't you ask her? You turn to look, but your moment of distraction, the pixie sinks its sharp teeth into your finger. Out, you sneaky little blighter. Bring your feet from your glass, or grasp. The slippery monster jitters a left and vanishes into a cloud of smoke. You look down at your dust-covered hand. Rude. Fairy or not, this bridge must be around here somewhere. There's some fairies guarding a fairy stone. A bridge too far. <laughs> okay. What's this? Oh, I'll probably need another unveiling. Added fairy dust to your inventory, so now I can just catch pixies. Oh no, he's like teleporting, and I think I'm just getting his dust. Unless I caught two pixies with one dust cloud. There were two? Okay. Do, 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 do. I need to see the snake. There's a house down there. I know there's pixies over there, but I don't think I need their ingredients just yet. Ah, that's the gate. That's what the gate was. So the house is yours. Demand for clay isn't what it used to be. Okay. 
hard soul. Olo, you were a bit delayed in doing your 1 hour and 30 minute stretching and self care. Please initiate this function now. I did, but I'll do it again once I get past this murder tree. Okay. Eh, stretch. I don't think I want to try to attack those gremlins. In my defense, I'm slightly distracted. I'm sure you're juggling 40 different stuff. Doodling. Ooh, I can't wait to see. I need to figure out what to do with this stone. Its weakness is still unknown. I can't use any of my items on it. There's a box over here. Bait stick. A tempting but deadly morsel of meat uh, for meat eating critters. Useful against snoots, dragonflies, and bats. I don't mind if I do. Although I do have other tabs open, I'm pretty sure. Pretty much uh, dominantly talking here. Just relax. Okay, cool. Thanks for being here. I can't wait to see what you're working on. Water bowl? Uh, why I insist to belong to you for those two hours per street? What? No? Sure. Yeah, I kind of figured that's what you were trying to tell me. Texas speed just being a butt. I guess these guys may be nudes. Ouch! Ow! Okay, I'm gonna die. I can't attack them with the... Do I have like a health potion I can make? Yeah, here we go. Mending pulses. Because it's my self-care. Aw. Thanks. Stumpy. There's something big over there. Okay, it's a gremlin. Any other time I'm bouncing between chats, constantly doing things, etc. But hey, your streams are soft. I spend this time in the atrium. Even if I'm just being. Oh, thank you. Pixie nest? Maybe. I'm not quite sure. Maybe bait stick? I, I could just check. Dreadful doll. Fox big, but is cowardly at heart. Dreadful doll issues a rattle so intense and unsettling it shakes itself to dust. Useful against goblins and bandits. I need grain from the fields. A grasshopper's leg. And something else that's craftable. Um, what's this other thing? I need to go to the swamp. Okay. I'll be back for you. Let me go see what's in the swamp. Womp womp. Here we go. That's a angry looking mosquito over there. Poisonous. I'll have to bait that. Interesting. Can I bait it with this? Oh, there's leeches over there. Yeah, it'll have to be the bait stick.
Oh, oh, that, that was, that was, <laughs> I'm sorry. That was not called for on my part. I want to get sucked dry. Well, how do I interact with it then? Spirit salt, a tiny better though known to have some medicinal. Tiny biter. A uh, skeeter. <laughs> Darn swamp is full of them. That with the blood of anything they can catch up to. I'm back from re uh, restarting. Welcome back. Doesn't much care for me. Would you recommend this game? It depends. If you're into games where you craft and collect items, and you're okay with a little bit of uh, creature harm and stuff, then yes. Yeah, if you're okay with species murder. Oh, Granny, you don't look too hot. Who's there? My eyes have got milky. Please come a little closer, sister. I don't believe we've met before. Why do you call me sister? I don't need sight to see someone who's also signed a dark contract. Soul? Maybe she signed a contract with the devil like us. Considering I play crafting games and Call of Duty, I think we're <laughs> looking good. Heck yeah. Also, if you're into story stuff, it's a lot of story, not a lot of action. There is some action. The woman looks blindly through you, though you can sense her focus. Contract. You've had dealings with the damnable goat too? What sort of pack did he rope you into? Oh, you know how it is. I was young. He weren't no goat when I knew him. Uh oh, hold on. I'm sorry. Uh, permit. At in. There you go. No, I'm sorry. I have it as a protection against the bots that have been plaguing everywhere. Oh, he didn't mean to put the link. Okay. okay. <laughs> okay, Granny. I just, I just. We used to dance naked under the blood moon and raise the dead to frighten dull country folk. Uh, but it's ancient history now. This grandma was, uh, yeah. <laughs> Old age comes for us all. And eventually you've got to hang up the sacrificial dagger and settle down into the comforts of retirement. I know the feeling. I miss my cozy chair and little fireplace. It's like a fine spot you've got here. Well, it's not all po posies and pumpernickel. She clutches worriedly at the moth-eaten blanket in her lap. Jackers, you say? <laughs> Perhaps to... <laughs> so now, yes. She clutches worriedly at the moth-eaten blanket. Let's rattle your bones. I, maybe I can help. Hey, SPG! How are you doing? It's my dear old husband. Handsome chap, although a bit clumsy. He's had a tumble trying to weed out some swamp traps from the yard. Awful things like to snap at your toes when you're not looking. Anyways, he's twisted his ankle pretty bad and went off to the sick house to have it looked at. <laughs> you know a cure for rattling bones, apparently. But that was a few days ago. He should have been back by now. And these legs haven't worked right in decades. I can't even go check on him. I've been so worried. I even thought about making another contract. Don't you dare. Mysterious existence Hi! Appeared. Long day, but pleasing. Maybe this is not be the day. Uh, last day of your for some time. Welcome in. If you remove the bones, they won't rattle anymore. I'll go find him and see what the bother is. Thank you, sister. Sick house is down the road to the west. Be careful of the critters along the way. They've got a taste for blood. Okay, Granny.
Uh, sweet quest. So I think I need something for the other quest. I think it needs a leap. Uh, so let me see what I can craft for the leeches. Smoke pellet to strike against a hard surface to produce a thick and surprisingly long lasting smoke. Useful against eaters. What's in the cloth? I don't know. I'll look in a second. Uh, spirit salt. Swamp and docks. I'm gonna have to go all over before I can do anything. Revealing powder. Okay. So I'm gonna have to wait before I go after the uh, cloth. Let's look. Over here? In front of Granny? Boop, 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 boop. Yeah, it was cool. That's what I was thinking it was. Was the ashes? There was an alligator back there. I see it tippetoeing around. Um, that's the undead. A rising body. Plant growth throughout has lifted the body almost to standing. Still dead though. Uh, Grandma put up a totem. Eerie somehow manages to make the swamp even less inviting. Got some frogs. Are we sure those bodies are are definitely dead? Toxic thistles, thorny spines with nasty aftercare. Can't always care. Swamp dead. Undesirable uh, mud. Undesirable for most. Just right for those. Okay. So have a look. Corpse garden. I'm just gonna take these embalming salts. Hope you guys don't mind. Thank you. Uh, that's a dragon. That is not... That is not... An alligator. Too tough. To right. And not to mention the whole freaking goal of the even bigger one of these guys just laying there nonchalantly. Gonna have to look at his weaknesses for more crafting material anyway. Great. Not a full grown dragon, but just as mean. Snackerfice. I have to get him a snackerfice to distract him. They literally call it the snackerfice. A juicy offering to powers greater. Powers with many gnashing teeth. Useful against Drake. Okay, this game, 10 out of 10. Roast Beast, a handsome helping of hot hot. I am not going to say that again. Good puns, good puns. Yeah. I'll need more meat, which is spice. And I've got coals. We can make witch spice, so I'm gonna make witch spice. Magic paste, an omni purpose miraculous adhesive. I need a dragonfly wing and some milk. Which spice? Uh, I don't know. Probably not one of the spice girls if it's in a swap. Thick totem, someone built this effigy to pay respect to the moon. The moon, in turn, has given it life. Oh no, that effigy's gonna try to kill me. The scary spice. Are you a friend? No, you're not a friend. Good to know. Um, do you not chase me? That would be fantastic. Thank you. 
What about this guy? Swamp mud. There's something there too. Interact. Rot has given a way here to something. I'm gonna need to get this guy away first. Follow me, stick friend! The thick moss growing on this massive fallen trunk seems to recoil at your touch, revealing strange etchings on the part below. Slowly, a spark of swirling energy seeps forth from the waterlogged wood until an ethereal doorway opens before you. Visitation to the atrium. Run, Aperture. So I'm gonna go in here, because this is gonna take us to our doorway. And we're gonna end things here, because it's uh, about time to go and I don't feel like starting a new adventure. So... Go ahead and exit. That is saves. Okay, then we'll exit out here. I see a barrel! <laughs> okay, let's uh put away the game controller. And uh let's go to the chatting. Okay. Let's find someone. Let's see who's on doing what. Someone's someone's life message is oh god I'm live just now. Ah go spoon spoons Deploying emergency spoons. Spoons Okay, let's see who's doing gaming tonight. Got a lot of people gaming, actually. Try to do... You know, Ice Coretto is on. Let me just make sure she's not ending soon. Lily, you're probably watching her. She's not ending soon, is she? I think it should be good to raid her. So we're gonna go raid our friend Ice Coretto. Let me give you a shout out so you know what they're all about. Always the Oni, sussy Oni, clips. Oh. Whenever we raid her, we'll have to tell her we got the sussy clip. Before we go, you can follow us at all these places and more. If you'd like to join us on the raid, you can copy this message. And if you're a USI donor or donation recipient, you can copy the one with the special email. Prepare for duty, space friends. That's all the time we have for today. And um, that's all the time we actually have for this week. So we'll be seeing you guys next week. So until next time, have fun, space friends! <laughs>